My whole success was concurrent with my coming out sexually. In 1976, I had just moved to San Francisco, and it seems as though Tales of the City was our guide to San Francisco and everything that was going on. I knew that I had landed on something that was going to make me famous because I had this subject matter that wasn't being covered. There was a huge influx of LGBT people, and they weren't being written about. Initially, he was writing for a San Francisco audience. Then when it was published as a book, well, America discovered it, and, and then we discovered it in Europe. And when Armistead arrives in London, he's a rock star. Tales of the City is a classic. And like a classic, you can pick it up at any time in your life and get something different from it that's just as powerful and just as meaningful. Uh, I grew up in Raleigh. You know, so many things to still love about the South, except possibly the people and the politicians. <laughs> The reason I embraced conservatism was I was terrified of who I was. And so you keep the lid on and you want the lid on for everybody else. My whole life I've been trying to please people. And I got here and I thought nobody is happy with my life the way it was. And it really wasn't until I came out that I understood how suffocated I was when I was in the closet. You were supposed to keep the secret. And I knew that the secret was what was poisoning us. His fiction is almost a Trojan horse. It smuggles in all sorts of themes under the guise of being a fantastic story about people that you're interested in. Sooner or later, though, no matter where in the world we live, we must join the diaspora, venturing beyond our biological family to find our logical one. It's clearer and clearer as I get older that sometimes people that you share blood with are not coming along with you on the ride. The idea of logical family really gives people an option to say, I choose you. You were coming this way, and I was going that way. And I just turned around and said, didn't I see you on a website? <laughs> he loves the world, but he does find it hilariously funny. Wonderful. Books Good. in the Castro, who knew? I know, really. <laughs> do people read? I guess I, they do. <laughs> they read you. Thank you.